Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more Castor Music Rock Star League. Uh, we are in the round of eight, and this is a best of five between Beast and between Killer. It's been a pretty good best of five as far as Zerg vs. Zerg goes. So I do hope that you don't just click away. Uh, <laughs> watch the video, okay? Uh, this, it, like right now, Beast is up two to one, but Killer had a very good win in that last game. That last game having a little bit of a base trade going on. Kind of insane that the drones drop down to four versus two. Not something that you see that often in Zerg versus Zerg, but very, very cool stuff. Uh, so we'll see. Can Killer bring us to that game five? We're on Allegro now. A pretty standard four-player map. No, uh, nothing about it other than being four-player and having a ramp to the uh, main base is really notable for Zerg versus Zerg. All right, those are kind of some of the main things that you're looking at. Okay, you have a ramp. Okay, the concave is going to be a little bit stronger to hold Ling versus Ling. And then, yeah, it's a four-player map, so it takes some time to actually scout your opponent. Uh, Hatchery first, probably going to be a little bit more popular here. Neither of these guys liking that as of yet. It's been a lot of nine pool versus 12 pool. Uh, is that going to be the way still? I feel like it's time for someone to go hatch first. And you see Beast is not going for that pool yet. He's moving his drones over, so he's going to make two more drones. Is that going to be into spawning pool, or is that going to be into hatchery? That's what we're, we're watching for at this point. All right. It's going to be a hatchery first from Beast. He does like three nine pools in a row, followed by uh, the 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 fast expansion hatchery first. And he's done that against someone that continually is 12 pooling. So this is, I think this is good uh, build rotation, I guess we could call it, from Beast. I think that this is very brainy. Uh, you've really set yourself up as the aggressor. This is a map where it could be harder to aggress as well. Like even if this was a nine pool speed from Killer, you have to cr travel cross map in these particular spawns. And that makes it take a lot longer. It makes it a lot harder to do any real damage. Uh, and those those few seconds really, really, really do matter at high levels, guys. I, I, I when I like when you're lower level uh, as a player and everything, it might seem like. But wait, that's only like four seconds. That's not that long. It's like, dude, that's that's a huge amount of time at this level. Uh, and the builds and the responses actually change dramatically when players are cross map as opposed to closed spawns. In fact, like when you see maps uh that are being added into tournaments for like pro gamers for asl right below the map it always tells the time between spawns because that dictates so much of what builds can be used and and you know how the game is going to play itself out anyways enough about that layer coming up here for beast speed on the other hand uh, for killer. So right now I'm really digging beasts build a lot more, right? So he got the quicker hatchery, which means he's going to have slightly more larva and he's getting the faster layer, right? Not by a lot. And he is getting zergling speed, but these little things that make little differences in Zerg vs. Zerg, well, that's what Zerg vs. Zerg is. You get these little tiny edges and you see what you can do with them. So Looking at the situation, he is up two drones right now. Is that going to be too many? Uh, I don't think so. I think he's going to be fine. Again, cross map. He's making a lot of Zerglings right now. As long as he continues to pump out Zerglings from these hatcheries, I don't think Beast uh, or is going to be broken here from Killer. Lots of Lings sitting in that natural. Speed finishing up for his opponent. So it's 10 Lings going up against 12 Lings. You can't really do anything there. One Ling was waiting on the side. That's a cute tactic, right? He attacked with 11 Lings on this side, had one Ling that he wanted to run up to get like a full scout, maybe harass lightly, make his opponent send two Lings after it. Because that's a thing. More Lings popping out and being sent to the side. In fact, Killer is like going pretty all in right now. Uh, he is making nothing but Zerglings and he's sending them out the side. We saw him running them up the side before the Overlord could see them. But the Overlord is going to start spotting the new Lings that are coming out. Uh, only four lings have truly been hidden here. So this is, you know, it, Beast has enough information. It does feel like everything is going slightly Beast favored. Now, I wonder, yeah, I wonder, do you just keep making lings here as Beast? Yeah, it looks like that is his choice because I think if you want to make any more drones, you're going to have to get a sunken colony. But since his Spire has good speed, yeah, I kind of like the aggression in his defensive response of just making Zerglings. The Spire is not that much slower for Killer. 
there's still definitely play in this position. I don't want to say that that Beast has this 100%, but, like, you can look at the numbers, right? He's got a couple more drones. Uh, he is, in fact, getting uh, this sunken colony just for safety's sake, and he's going to have Mutalisks first. So here come the Lings across the map for Killer. Beast's going to fall back. He needs his sunken doing consistent damage here. And you got you got to be careful. You can't let your opponent get much of a concave. Now, an Evolution Chamber goes down. This is not for spores. This is specifically to block. See, the AI is getting completely screwed up here. Oh, my God. That spore... I mean, this Evolution Chamber doing so, so much. The drone's getting in front as well. He's got to target those down. Muta's popping out. Oh, my God. Dude, that Evolution Chamber just changed this game so much. If he had not made that... This would have broken in so much quicker, and there'd be a lot more lings there. So fantastically done from Beast. That Sim City out of control. The Muta's trying to clean everything up. It looks like Killer will still maybe get a little bit of damage, but he's still down four drones right at this moment. Another ling going to pop in. That's a that's a little bit painful, but he's got his own Muta's popping out now too. Uh, but the four drone deficit is kind of a big deal. Lots of mutas being made. Beast actually with a bigger gas bank here as well. He's starting to make Scourge. He's just trying to utilize every little bit of money that he has. Uh, because, you know, he's if he uses this drone advantage right now and hits very hard, he might do something like have the same amount of mutas, but like four more Scourge than his opponent, six more Scourge than his opponent, something like that. Uh, and if that's going to be the case, you can't really micro as well as Beast will micro there because the Scourge are chasing you. So right now we see four Muta, four Scourge. What do we have on this side? We have, wait a minute, we have seven Mutas? Okay, six Mutas. Okay, I, I was, there was something wrong with my brain there where I'm like, four, wait, that doesn't make sense. He can't be down three Mutas, it's literally impossible. That's not how gas is mined. Anyways, he's got six Mutas against seven, but four Scourge. Let's see how he does this. Four Scourge pop out for his opponent. Good micro from Beast. He actually picks off quite a few of the Scourge. Oh, one of his Scourge actually connects upon a Mutalisk as well. And the drones have to pull back from the natural. That is super painful. He had just started to catch up as far as that drone count went. And now he's losing these Overlords. Beast taking control. He's up 11 supply in a 41 versus 30 supply situation. That does not look like something that you're going to be able to come back from. The Mutalisk count getting pretty absurd. A two Mutalisk lead right now for Beast. I think he might just finish him off here, honestly. Oh, good Scourge connection. Excellent Scourge connection. Another Scourge connects with a Scourge. The other one gets picked off. And now more drones are going to die. Beast backs out. Look at that. Eight Mutas against seven. It is full health mutas, but he's losing a lot of drones as well. It's 8 against 15. He's got to make something happen. He's got to make it happen now. Killer having a hard time actually finishing that off. And, well, that's that's going to be that, I think, right? Like, Beast is going to win this battle. He's got his mutas on top of these mutas. And a couple Scourge pop out, but that's going to be it. GG Beast to the round of four.